So today we need to uh, measure the house. No, uh, the house, yes. So I made a quick drawing to put in the measurements. Uh, we have here the top view. So I'm gonna measure uh, the side walls and uh, the bathroom also. The bathroom has a um, flat roof, so for the roof I don't need to uh, measure it, but it's nice to have the measurements. Bathroom, kitchen one, living area, kitchen two, uh, now shed. Then I have side view, um, where we need to measure the height also. And we need to measure this height till here, because it's uh, you can calculate the incline for the for the roof. And also I put in this one. I think I already have all the measurements then in here, but yeah, I like drawing. I'm not good at it. <laughs> nah, I know I don't like it either. But um, uh, this is all square. <laughs> Very good drawing. Uh, let's do some measurements. Uh, the former measurements I have, I did on uh, Google Maps. Um, yeah, so that's uh, 2D. So I could only do uh, the um, square meters, but not the height and stuff like that. So uh, at first for the incline for the roof, I looked at my videos and just... Uh, let me show you. Here you can see a little bit uh, how high this is, so you can calculate uh, the incline. Uh, I measured this as a, a one meter from my videos, but um, I think it's even less. So to get uh, the exact stuff I need for my roof, I need to measure the house. Let's do that. So I need to, um, the most important thing to measure is uh, the roof. So I need to measure these uh, ridge beams. Uh, <laughs> a little hard to point out, but uh, these things here. And this is the, um, what's it called in English again? Oh, sorry. This is the ridge beam. It's the one that goes from this wall to that wall. And these are the rafters. So for the ridge beam, I need to uh, measure the width of every uh, room. I probably have two ridge beams because the house is 19 meters and um, the biggest ridge beam we have is uh, available here is 13 meters, one three. So uh, I'm gonna divide it into two. Um, I want um, the part of the first kitchen and the um, living space. I want to knock down the wall there. So that needs to be one ridge beam. And then the second kitchen and the shed can be another ridge beam. Um, so I need to measure the width of uh, every uh, quarter, quarters, and I need to measure the uh, rafters going from the ridge beam to the wall here. Here. So uh, let's do that first. So we're currently in kitchen number two. This width. Let me see do this the correct way it's from yeah i didn't do it the correct way it's from the inside wall to the inside wall for 22. um then we need to divide this house also into four quarters <laughs> That's a little bit too wide here, huh? But that doesn't matter. Okay, so this is all, they're all about the same size. So this one was uh, 422, but we have this already here. So we're gonna put in here the rafter from there to there, inside wall, three meters. So now maybe it's only uh, good to 
also take the measurements. I took the measurements in the width, but uh, I should also take the length. And that's, uh, that's 5 meters 30. Five meters thirty for the you know what is it, the depth of the the house. So also this will be different for uh, for the shed and for kitchen one because these walls here are only twenty centimeters and this is the old building. And this is all fifty or sixty centimeter walls. Uh, let's move to the shed. So yeah, let's do the do the same thing here. Ridge beams. Sorry, again, <laughs> English terms. Uh, ridge beam rafter. So these are probably longer. Yeah, so those are uh, 325. So in the other room we had, um, what do we have? Three meters exactly. And this is uh, 325 in the, in the shed. So that is um, 325 and that was three. Uh, now do the length and the width of the, of the room. Three thirty five with six meters. So, um, so yeah, these were the rafters. So, uh, yeah, the width, uh, the width, let me see. <laughs> Uh, that's not working on one leg. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, these uh, widths are probably uh, different anyway, but here you can see the outside wall of the house has the same width, um, but the walls of the old building, they take up 70 centimeters in total. So I'm actually surprised by that because that would mean that it's only 35 centimeter walls. Mm. Let's check that for a minute, huh? Let's go back to the old kitchen. And uh, let's measure uh, the width here of the wall. not opening <coughs> so let's measure the inside the inside is already 40 centimeters and there's probably five to seven centimeters down there <coughs> I measured them both uh, again and it's uh, still uh, 530 on the kitchen and 600 on the shed uh, so yeah it could be that the outside wall is only 20 centimeters in the kitchen but I don't think so uh, it's also a possibility that the house is not a rectangle. That will be uh, <laughs> that will be maybe my guess. 
Uh, let's measure the rest of the house first to see uh, to see maybe if it isn't a rectangle. And if we see, uh, maybe uh, after that we can uh, unravel this mystery. So we're now going into the first kitchen unit, the one that is next to the bathroom in the corner. Um, the roof here is a little different because, um, yeah, you can only see it uh, better on the outside maybe later, but, um, oh, you can see it on the... Let me show you on my drawing. So here the wall uh, comes in a little. It doesn't form the, the rectangular shape of the house here. So this comes in here. And you can see here uh, from the from the roof. Um, so this is not, this uh, ridge beam is going, not going straight. It's going a little bit off to the left because uh, this side is smaller. But the guy who was giving me advice on building, he said uh, he would uh, put this thing in a straight line with the other uh, ridge beams. So I think we're gonna try that, it's uh, easier to build. Um, but as you can see here, this goes into a, a point here. So this wall is not as uh, straight as the other ones. So yeah, I measured uh, the ridge beams. No, I measured the rafters. Uh, let me show you. So you can see here, this rafter is uh, 290 centimeters and this rafter on the other side where it is much, uh, much less length. It's a 190, so that's a difference of a meter. Then if uh, for correct measurement, I measured the other side. This is 280 for this part on the other side of the roof. And it's 120 for this part on the other side of the roof. Um, now I still need to uh, measure uh, the width and uh, length. Yeah, the other two I got already when I forgot to press the record button on the stupid camera. No, nice camera, nice camera. Stupid me. Um, so, let me show you. Here it's uh, 5 meters 20 on the long part and on the short part is 3 meters. So that's actually 2 meters and 20 centimeters difference. Sounds like a lot to me. But okay, we'll see because now we're gonna measure also this part of the shower. So that should also be around three meters and we still need to measure the living space. And that will be probably then around 520, except that this has uh, the thick walls again. Um, let's do the living space first. Okay, so we're here in the living quarters, measured um, this distance. And that was what the, the 5 meters uh, 20 was in the uh, other room. Here it turns out it's uh, 5 meters. So that's really strange because that would mean that the wall is only uh, 20 centimeters uh, thicker. Maybe those walls are not 20 centimeters. Maybe they're more. Uh, <clears throat> mystery continues. Um, then I measured the length from the hole in the kitchen area. Here. And that's a six meters 50. So this is the biggest, uh, the biggest room. So here I put it in, this is a six meter 50, this width. And here this comes to five meters. So this was five meters 20. So that's really strange to me. We cannot measure the rafters here because it has a closed ceiling. My flamingo. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, this has the same size as the, the second kitchen on the other side of this wall. And uh, they have the same uh, thickness in walls because it's both the, the oldest building. Um, so that would be uh, the same size. Um, one more to go, the bathroom. 
as a bathroom. So uh, for the adjoining wall here in the other kitchen, we measured uh, three meters. So let's measure this part. Let's turn you guys around, but like this, you cannot see anything. I don't know that you can see really much when I measure the floor, but okay. Let me see. Let me put on a new light. Ah. Two meters, 55 centimeters. And then the other side, because it's smaller. And it's not, it's 255. Because it's running a little bit more uh, diagonal. Um, I'll show you in a minute on the drawing, I made a little mistake. Uh, 255 also. Well, uh, this is not much. It is 25 centimeters. And then uh, this wall you're hanging, uh, you're hanging against is uh, actually two parts. I thought it was uh, straight, but... Uh, well, I knew it wasn't straight, but I was thinking. The part where the door is in, it's uh, 112. 112. So the mistake I made is I draw here a, a straight line, but it has a little uh, little knick in it, and uh, because this wall is uh, yeah running not in the same line, it looks as if it's smaller, but it's going more to the outside. So it's also 255. This is also 255. This small part is a 138 and this part is a 112. Um, so yeah, we're, we're missing here in this, uh, this first kitchen part where we measured three meters. This is only 255 and it's the same wall. So this would implicate that at least these walls from this extension of the house are wider than I thought. And that accounts maybe also for the difference here between these two. Maybe these walls are not 20 centimeters like I thought. Let's measure the thickness of the walls. For the shower, that will be, sorry, 17 centimeters. No, it's not even 20, it's 19. Ah, it's 18. Sorry, it's 18. Hmm. So that one was 18. What is this again? 17. So the first kitchen and the bathroom are almost the same thickness. Let's see the shed. Hmm. That's also 18. 17. Um, so yeah, the 20 meters was even uh, too much. Uh, so that makes uh, the difference even bigger. Hmm. This was the wall we already measured before. It's a 50, 50 centimeter wall. So that's not possible. Hmm. Let's see about the wall on the, on the north side of the house. The only place we can actually see that is in the bedroom because here we have uh, the one window that is on the other side <laughs> it's 
it's getting crazier by the minute. Look. 55 centimeters. So the outside wall measures 55 centimeters on the north side and on the uh, south side it measures 50 centimeters. So I still don't have an explanation for my mystery. What was the mystery again? Let me show you. So my mystery, um, my mystery was that uh, this is six meters, this is five thirty, and that we had a uh, uh, seventy centimeters uh, difference for two walls. So it would be thirty-five centimeters per wall. So I was thinking, how can these walls only be thirty-five centimeters? But my sis here, she helped me clear it up. Um, because it's 35 centimeters difference. So this wall is 20 centimeters and this wall is 55 centimeters. And that's a 35 centimeter difference. Mystery solved. Scooby doo doo. Um, okay, so now I have all the measurements uh, for the house. Uh, now I need to make the calculations of uh, what sh um, length of ridge beams I need and what kind of uh, length of rafters. So it's going to be a little bit different for the first kitchen because it has the... Let me switch the camera again. And press the record button. Um, because uh, this is going to be... Uh, uh, this is not straight. Like this. And now they took here the middle for the ridge beam and here the middle for the ridge beam so the ridge beam is actually not well it's going the same as this wall and not the same as this wall it would be a lot easier because i want to join these two rooms together for my living space and my kitchen and it would be a lot easier if we can have the ridge beam going from here because i want to remove this wall or part of this wall so then this ridge beam needs to go straight like Mm, that so we need to change a little bit from this outside wall because it's now stacking up to this point and we need to put it over to stack up to this point so that's going to be a fun uh, fun job to do um so i'm going to do some calculations and then uh, i'll show you what exactly i came to what i need to order let me uh, interrupt myself here for a minute Besides the uh, exact measurements of the, the wood, the timber we need to order, I also been uh, 3D modeling the house in the SketchUp program, as you uh, have seen uh, in the video already. Uh, the former sketches I made with the Room Sketcher app, but that is not really um, sufficient for uh, making the roof and stuff. And the SketchUp was uh, suggested by, uh, by some of the comments. It does uh, have a learning curve though, I'm, I'm not that, uh, that far yet. Uh, it takes some time to put all the all the pieces together. But as you can see here, um, yeah, it's uh, starting to come together. I actually have uh, two houses in here now. Yeah, it's uh, really um, really some work to get the get the beams up here. This is the ridge beam, and I have only one of the one of the rafters now here. Ah, and it's not, not even uh, sticking to the roof yet. <laughs> ah, maybe I need to load a saved uh, version because I had it uh, nicely stuck on the roof. Um, so, okay, so for the calculations, uh, what I need. Uh, ridge beams, uh, laminated wood, so ridge beams, uh, they're those on top here. Uh, what I need is uh, one of uh, 11 meters, uh, 60 centimeters. This will be the one that goes uh, from here to there. And then I need one of uh, 8 meters, 80. And this will be one beam here. And then we need some roof support because we're going to remove, um, remove this wall here. We're going to need uh, some support here for the roof. So this is a beam of uh, 5 meters 80 and that is going to support uh, the roof there. So these are uh, laminated uh, wood beams. Laminated wood is um, wood that is uh, glued together. 
and it's uh, supposed to be stronger than uh, than just a normal uh, wooden beam. Talking about uh, normal wooden beams, um, we need rafters and we need battens. Uh, the rafter uh, you saw already here, that one. We need 66 of them, 33 for uh, every side of the house. And they will be um, 11 by 7 centimeters and 370 centimeters long. Uh, then we need the battens. This is where the, the tiles will go on. These are laying uh, straight over here, like this. Uh, straight. <laughs> um, we need uh, 164 of uh, 350 uh, centimeters. Uh, the length is not so important here. Um, they just uh, stack behind each other to form the 19 meters. So that we need a lot. And then we need uh, 66 uh, very small ones. And they will go uh, over here. I know they will actually go underneath of the, the patterns. So there will be insulation uh, on top of the um, of the rafters, and then there will be um, these uh, vertical ones, and then there will be the horizontal uh, patterns, so that uh, if rain does come in, that it uh, can exit on the bottom. So the laminated wood is um, 880 euros per cubic meter. And the single wood is 605 euros per cubic meter. Uh, these prices are not the exact prices. Um, as you may or may not know, wood is um, increasing in price at the moment. So um, I do need to get the, the definite prices. So you can calculate a cubic meter wood with, um, with a calculator. I took one uh, on this website. And here you can uh, put in the, the length. So uh, for the battens, it's uh, 300, um, it's uh, 3.7 uh, meters. It's 11 centimeters uh, high and seven centimeters uh, thick. So we need uh, 66 pieces, boards or pieces. And then you calculate it and then it comes to 1.88 cubic meters. So I calculated all the beams, the laminated wood and uh, the single wood. And the uh, laminated wood, it came to exactly uh, one cubic meter. So that's um, 880 euros. Sorry about that. And then the single wood, it is um, two and a half cubic meters. So times uh, 605 is uh, 1512 euros and 50 cents. So I do want to compare these prices uh, to the prices in the Netherlands because um, the people in Portugal tell me that uh, it's uh, cheaper in the Netherlands. Mm, I doubt it. So I'll give you an update on that, maybe in the next vlog. So yeah, for the SketchUp program, uh, I still want to complete the rest of the house. Also, you can see it's a rectangle now and here, uh, yeah, we, ha we don't have this uh, straight wall here. We. Uh, we have it going a little bit sideways. So I want to incorporate that also, but it takes me a little more time uh, to finish that. Um, but um, yeah, I'll probably show you an update uh, in a future video. Yeah. Uh, so far for the measurements for the house, I'm gonna draw this all out in, um, in, the, in the online program I showed you in the other video. Um, so can I can I have a nice uh, drawing and not the scribble, scribbling I put on this paper. Uh, hope you enjoyed my video, give it a like and subscribe if you want. <laughs> See you next time. Thank you for watching another video of the Portugal project. If you want to follow the Portugal project more closely, you can also add it on Facebook. Or add me on my personal account on Facebook or Instagram. See you next time at the Portugal project.